Welcome everybody to the first installment of the Sound of Musket series on Folktale. We are going to play some Folktale. This is an experimental release game. I'm sorry, early access game, which has some experimental builds, which we're playing right now. And it is basically a city builder and with some... Uh, Unlike a lot of other city builders, you can actually control your people and tell them to do stuff directly versus just say, hey, I want this done and then wait for them to do it. Oh, I think the best thing to do is just kind of get in and get going. I played it a little bit ago. Um, I played it a couple weeks ago for a couple of hours. And uh, so hopefully I'm not too rusty on remembering what I have to do here. Now you can see Ready Sir, for Gregory. Battle. Sir Gregory's our main fighter character guy and these are our peasants and we have our little starting thing so um, construction is fairly simple uh, first thing we have to do we have to make a supply wagon so if we put it over things you see that they, they turn color that means they're gonna, it's gonna knock them out our supply wagon is kinda where people come back to get their stuff so we wanna pick a decent spot for for it to be construction completed because people are going to be running back and forth between that spot hmm. now for regular buildings you have three the hammer is a construction tab and you got three options these are basically the basic buildings uh, which are your first level first tier ingredient buildings and in the middle your military stuff which we don't need at the beginning of the game and then advanced is kind of where you turn your basic products into uh, more advanced products later so we need a basic buildings we need Not we need wood plans. we need wood uh, not the wood cutter though our yes, woodcutters we, yes, need to we, saw more we need wood cutters so we, we need to send way. them off to cut some wood down first And they chop some stuff off. Sir Standing Gregory! Something to do? Okay. And she can actually, if there's some berries around here, we can pick some berries for food. There we Be go. Right there, darling. So we can have her picking berries while these other guys chop down some wood for some buildings. So there's stuff out in the world. Eventually we'll run into things that want to hurt us and attack us. Um, but mostly it's a pleasantly kind of slower paced uh, city builder where you're building up your little fantasy city. Kind of interesting. So you see, we got some wood now, so we should be able to build our woodcutter's lodge. And the little icons pop up telling you everything that's everything around it that it's going to be able to uh, harvest. So there's a lot of wood up here. I think we're going to put our woodcutter's lodge right up here and I can turn the direction you know to for aesthetic reasons mostly I think make it look however I want so somebody should go off and start building our our woodcutter when they're when they're a little less busy uh -huh. I can actually send him over there to start building it too and the mini map up here is a little confusing because of the way it uh, the perspective changes. It's not a fixed perspective, so as you turn the camera, the minimap turns with you. Which is, it's a little weird. Alright, woodcutter's going. Let's see, what else do we need? We don't need more capacity, so cottages increase your village Building capacity. Completed. We don't need that just yet, but what we do need to do is turn some folks into woodcutters so we can go to there's a couple ways you can do it you can hit this little train woodcutter thing um, you can also go up here to the civics tab which shows you it's kind of the overview tab and you can see a couple things you can look at but uh, buildings is one so you can we have one of four workers in that building right now so I could use this to make two woodcutters instead, and somebody will run over there and then become trained in woodcutting. That's kind of neat for the UI to give you multiple ways to do it. Sir Gregory just hanging out, chilling. 
You called. I could have him go looking for stuff. You can see the resources. These are the these are the basic resources, and these are kind of your good resources, and then foods like your manufactured resources, and then foods. And eventually, we're going to need to get some fish up. Where's the river? So there's a river over here. So we'll probably need to get our our fishing hut over there. But we need a hundred wood, and we're not even close. So. So that's the next thing we need to do is to get the wood hut going. Um, the other thing is you have to have, you always have to have some peasants. So you cannot, uh, you cannot turn all your peasants into like specialty craftsmen. The game won't let you. Add another woodcutter. Yes, my dear. So is this uh what is she doing here? She is chopping wood. So she's a woodcutter. Yo, won't this guy something. also a woodcutter. Woodcutter. Where's my last peasant at? Over here somewhere. Chopping stuff hmm. down, so we want him to gather berries instead, really? I think. Yeah, really. Really, go gather some berries, Kevin. Oh. I just recorded the, the uh, zombie game Survivor Squad series, which also had a Kevin, and I was remarking on how every zombie game had Kevins. I don't think there are zombies in this game yet. Maybe there are. First guy I clicked on is Kevin. That's a strange coincidence. So we could also harvest the stone, or later we can find a stone mine place quarry that we can harvest out of. All right, so we have enough wood to build our fishery now. Hunting lodge, fish. So uh, you can see the little fish icons popping up that show us how many fish this is going to be able to get at. I think we'll put it right there. There's also um, other icons. It's kind of cool. It shows you what you can get when you upgrade it. Like it'll show grayed out icons that you won't be able to get immediately, but that you'll able to be har you'll be able to harvest eventually once you upgrade the thing. So I think and now we could probably use another cottage to get some more population. And these cottages, um, we're going to want some stuff in the middle. I think we're going to put, where are we going to put the cottage? For right now, we're going to put it right next to the woodcutter's lodge. And that increases your population cap. More settlers will come. So Your Gregory, orders. how about you do something for a change, Sir Gregory? Let's go explore. Here's a quarry site. And then I think this is an iron mine site up here. Yeah. Our town is under attack. Come on, Sir Gregory. Zoom in. Let's watch the combat. And you can actually get loot. You see the bunny bags. So. Buy your leave. And then, it, luckily, you don't have to loot. It, it will loot everything in the general vicinity when you use that. So you don't have to individually click on everything, which is cool. Thank you. Thank you to the developer. Little decisions like that go a long way to make games more playable, I think. Anyway, this, this game, um, I really like the art style. It kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Torchlight completed. with the vibrant Mine colors. It's pretty neat. So now we have a fishery. Uh, we need the cottage, and then we can train some fishermen.
and then we'll probably start working on some bread. So there's multiple food types in this game. There's meat, there's veggies, and there's bread, meat pies. You know, you turn meat into meat pies. You turn uh, flour into bread, and then eventually get the alcohol and stuff for the tavern. So I think the windmill is going to be next because that's what we use to set up our farming system. So after we get the fishing going. Ah, timber! And down comes the tree! Our village is growing nicely. A building has been constructed. Alright, so we should be getting some new peasants here pretty soon. One unassigned population. Clearing out the forest, too. <laughs> so each cottage has to have firewood that they will haul from either the supply or I believe they can haul it from the woodcutter's hut. New villagers have arrived. Sir Gregory. Double time! Okay, so we have new villagers. So we're going to train up fishermen. Like I said, the next thing we're going to work on is the windmill. Which I don't have quite enough people. I think I'm going to build another cottage, actually. Um, but then I need to get my food supply going. I think, or I could be in trouble. Because I currently don't have enough food. I need more fishermen. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to, I'm going to, let's see, let's look at our civics menu and what people are doing. Okay. Firewood, they got firewood, they got food. We're going to take one off of cutting okay. wood and put another one on fishing. So we can get our wood supply, or our fish supply up. People some fish. People love fish. Five of five, I believe that means they all have jobs, right? So, I'm not sure where the fifth one is working at. Unless that's, that's probably Sir Gregory, actually. Four peasants and Sir Gregory. Building completed. Good job. Yes, Petal. So what are you doing, Alice? Alice the Bruise. How'd you get that name, honey? She walking into furniture as a child or something? Yes, my dear. Who else do we have? The Cornwallis, who will go on to be the mother of a great general from Britain. Okay, so we can see our salmon steaks are going up. We're getting fish. That's good. And we have a bunch more people, so we can definitely work on the uh, work on our bread supply now, our, our farm supply. New settlers. Okay, so uh, where am I going to put the farm? I think I'm going to put the farm. I don't want it over there. Uh, I'm going to go right here. And to go with that, we need farmer's fields. And you can swap it between what it's growing, wheat or carrots. Settlers have arrived looking for a fresh start. So we're going to have a couple of fields here. Construction completed. Has been yes, so we're going to grow carrots here, and we're going to grow wheat here. And then the windmill grinds the wheat into flour, I believe is how that works. 
building so complete. what we can do we don't need anybody in here yet but you know what we do need we need some more fishermen and let's let's put some more folks on these since we have extra people in the village now all right dear. let's put let's see um, everybody is occupied and then another one on the fish okay so that's six it should leave us four folks Okay, so we have four folks that we can then put on the windmill. I guess now that I Be think right about there, it, there's no reason not to put take this on up to four way. and four right now. Because it's going to take a little while to harvest that field. Alright, so we're doing okay. Let's see. After that, we're going to need to finish off our, uh, our bread structure with an advanced building so we're going to need a baker but but for the bakery we need stone which we do not have enough of so let's go back to our basic buildings and we can get a stone cutter's lodge and where was the quarry it was over here so we'll put our stone cutter's lodge over here And then we can assign somebody to start cutting stone out of the mountain after that. I haven't had anybody, I haven't had anything attack the village yet, which is good. Iron mine we could get going over here. So Gregory. A building has been constructed. Go explore, Sir Gregory. And eventually we can build a barracks to give him some militia to help out. Okay. Um, so we're going to train up. Am I out of guys? Let's see. Let's see, let's take the fishing down one. Let's take the wood cutting down one. Let's put one of these busy, on the busy. windmill. All right, one dear. on the stone cutter's lodge. That is eight total. Let's put Be two right on the there, stone cutter's darling. lodge. That leaves us one free to build things. And I. I can also raise the tax rate. No, that, yeah. Right now, I like everybody being happy, so let's keep it down for now. And we'll have to worry about probably clothing next. All right. Where are we at, Sir Gregory? There we are. Tis an honor. So Gregory. Check this dude out. Yes, my dear. What's her job? Stone cutter. Okay, and you can see, like, eventually there's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff added to this game where you can outfit every single one of your villagers with okay. gear and equipment. So, it's not your average city builder in that respect. Okay, stone's up to 60. What it would. I think we might add another red field. Gonna need stone for our iron mine, for our blacksmith's shop. Smelts iron ore into iron ingots. Eventually we'll get a monastery to make some mead. And the storehouse is like, a, you could put it over here so they don't have to walk all the way back. But we need stone for that. <laughs> so they don't have to walk all the way back to the uh, supply wagon to drop off their stone. 
and then inventory is shared throughout the game so they can also pick up stuff from the storehouse so they can pick up food and anything else that they need from the storehouse I think we have enough food I'm gonna build another cottage splinters somebody was cutting wood and it's the mange. Percy the mange. Fisher. Huh. In my last game, I ended up getting Sir Gregory killed right at the end of it. After I'd played for a little bit. So I'm wondering if I should build a barracks sooner rather than later this time. I'm not sure. Um, all right, folks, I think that is a good spot to end this first episode. Thanks for checking us out. Uh, this series will be going on for a little while, so thanks for hanging out for another episode of The Sound of Muskets. This is Folktale, and I will see you next time.